as the next part we are going to learn about GeoGebra. To open GeoGebra, we have to click on Application, Education, GeoGebra. Then to remove the X axis and Y axis and the grid in this window, we have to click on this arrow here and then click on Show or Hide Axis and the next one Show or Hide Grid. So we got a wide window here. So next we will see the various tools available in this window. The first group tool is move, move around points, free hand shape, pen. Second group, point, point on object, attach or detach point, intersect, midpoint or center, complex numbers, extremium, then roots, line, segment, segment with given length, ray, polyline, vector, vector from point. Then fourth group, perpendicular line, parallel line, perpendicular bisector, angle bisector, tangents, polar or diameter lines, best fit lines and locus. Fifth group, polygon, regular polygon, rigid polygon, vector polygon. Then sixth group, circle with center through point, circle, center and radius, compass, circle through three points, semicircle, circular arc, circumcircular arc, circular sector, circumcircular sector. The next group, ellipse, hyperbola, parabola, conic through five points. Next, angle, angle with given size, distance or length, area, slope, list, relation, function, inspector. Next group, reflect about line, reflect about point, reflect about circle, rotate around point, translate by vector, dilate from point. The next group, slider, text, image, button, checkbox, then input box and the last group contains move graphics view, zoom in, zoom out, show or hide objects, show or hide label, copy visual styles and delete. So these are the various tools available in the GeoGebra window. The first activity in the textbook is to draw a parallel line through a point. So first we have to draw a line AB. Then we have to plot a point C. And through the C we have to draw a parallel line to the line AB. So select the third group tools. Line. Then plot a point A and plot a point B. So we got a line AB. Next we have to plot a point. Select the second group tools point. Then plot a point C. So now we have to draw a line parallel to the line AB through the point C. So fourth group tools parallel line. Then click on the point C and click on the point B. So we got a parallel line to the line a, B. So now we have to save this. So click on file menu. Then save as. So give the file name as GeoGebra1. And click on save button. So next we have to draw an another parallel line. Double the distance between the line A, B and line C. So select the ninth group tools. Dilate from point. So click on the line AB and click on the point C. So we got a window here. So there I am typing 2 because I need double the distance. So OK. So we got a line here. Double the distance of the line AB and C. 
So we just have to measure and find out whether it is correct or not. So we have to draw another line segment here. So third group tools, segment. So click on the point C, then click on the point B, then click on the point B and click on the, the line here. Then now we have to measure this. So eighth group tools, distance or line. Then click on the point C and click on the point B. So we got the distance of the line CB. So next click on the point B and click on the point D. So we got the measurement of the line BD. So now we will find the length of the line CD. So click on the point C and click on the point D. So here you can see the distance between the line CB is double the distance between the line CD. So now we will save this. File menu, save as. So give the file name as GeoGebra2. Then click on the save button. Then to exit from the window, you can click on file, close. 